In this video, I want to talk about the difference between val and const val in Kotlin. So what we're looking at here is some idiomatic Kotlin code, and I want to focus on this person class. We have a val name, a var age, and then a val nickname, which actually has a default value, which is a const val default nickname. Name is a val because once we set that value, it won't change over time. But age is a var because every time you have your birthday, that will be incremented by one. Looking at default nickname, we're declaring it as a const val. So now the question becomes, what is the additional benefit of declaring something as a const val instead of simply a val? Broadly speaking, there are three ways to declare a variable in Kotlin, var, val, and const val. And like we just talked about, var is something that can be read or written to, whereas val and const val are read only. And so this is where the key difference comes in between val and const val. Val is known at runtime, whereas const val is known earlier at compile time. And because const val is a compile time constant, the compiler can make some optimizations, such as inserting the value directly into where it's used. And so in general, if you are able to use const val over val, you should because it'll make your program more efficient. One other key difference between val and const val is that with the val, the contents can be mutated. For example, if you have a list or a map, even if you declare the variable as a val, you can still insert or remove elements from that list. On the other hand, a const val is immutable. The contents cannot be changed. And as a result of that, it can only be a string or one of the eight primitive types, for example, int or double. So coming back to the code, one thing to point out is that because of what we just described, we can't have the const val be a result of a function call. For example, I have a function here defined as my function down here, but you can see right away that the editor is complaining that const val initializer should be a constant value. It cannot be a result of a variable or a function invocation. Another consequence of what we talked about is that a const val has to be known at compile time and therefore must be declared in the top level or in a companion object. So for example, if we change this back to a constant like this and try and declare it inside of a function like fun main, now you can see a complaint it says modifier const is not applicable to a local variable. Functions are invoked at runtime, not compile time, and so we can't have a const variable inside of a function. The convention when naming const val variables is to use upper snake case like we're doing here, and that's the way to communicate to other developers that this is a constant variable. It makes it pretty obvious. Finally, the last thing I'd like to point out is that the only really valid use case for having a val at the top level is if you have a list or map of something that you want to mutate the contents of. So for example, I could have my list, and this is equal to a mutable list of integer, and I could mutate this inside of the main function. So it would be invalid to now declare this a const val because of the reasons we talked about. So only primitives and string are allowed for a const. So this would be the reason to have a val if you have a primitive or string at the top level though, it should always be declared as a const. Cool, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to help, drop a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.